Today we like to look at enlargement and similarities. And then the first thing we like to consider is the scale factor. So the first thing is scale factor. How do we find the scale factor? The rule for the scale factor is length of image all over corresponding length of object. So that is how we find the scale factor. So scale factor is equal to length of image over the corresponding length of object. Most often the scale factor is denoted by k. So you can say that k is equal to length of image over corresponding length of object. Let's consider examples for better understanding. Now let's consider this example. In an enlargement, x, y is mapping onto x1, y1. If x, y is 30 centimeters and x1, y1 is 6 centimeters, you calculate the scale factor of the enlargement. Now, what do we know? Scale factor, which can be denoted as k, is equal to, that is length of image all over corresponding length of object. So first, which one is the image and then which one is the object? Now the object is x, y, x, y, and then the image is x1, y1. So hence our scale factor, that is what the length of the image, which is x1, y1, all over the length of the object, x, y. Now, what is the length of the image? From the question, the length of the image is 6. What is the length of the object? The length of the object, x, y, is 30. Now, 6 will go into itself 1. How many times will 6 go into 30? That is 5 times. So, our scale factor is 1 all over 5. So, scale factor is length of image over the corresponding length of object. Now let's consider this example. In the diagram below, P mapping to P prime, Q mapping to Q prime, and R mapping to R prime. And then we have been to P, Q, R is mapping onto P1, Q1, R1. It's an enlargement. So this is P, Q, R, now P1, Q1, R, R. And then we have been to the uh, P, Q, R mapping onto P, prime, Q prime, and R prime. This is an enlargement. Now the first one says that, what is the scale factor of this enlargement? Now, scale factor is length of image over corresponding length of object. So first, we have to ask ourselves which one is the image and then which one is the object. So the first one, we want to find our scale factor, which is length of image all over corresponding length of object. Now, clearly, what is the image? So, if you find the image, then it should be over what the corresponding length of the object. So, when you choose R1, Q1. So, here we can say R1, Q1, all over, it should be corresponding length of the object. So the corresponding of the R1, K1 is RQ. So that is over length of RQ. Now, what is R1, Q1? That is 1. And then what is RQ? That is 2. That's 2. Or, or, or our scale factor K is equal to, now, when we choose P1, K1, then we have to choose the corresponding side. P, Q. So you can say that P1, Q1, all over the P, Q. The corresponding side is the P, Q. Now what is P1, Q1? P1, Q1, this is 1.5. What is P, Q? 
this is 3 1.5 all over 3 and this is the same as 1.5 divided by 3 now 1.5 can be expressed as 15 over 10 now division can change to multiplication we know every whole number is over 1 so 1 all over 3 now 3 will go here 1 3 will go here 5 15 5 5 will go here 1 5 will go into 10 that is 2 times so our k is basically 1 over 2 which is the same as that so that is how we find the scale factor now the second thing is that if p r that is if p r if the side is 3.6 centimeters what is the length of p1 k1 p1 r1 now we want to find this but we are being given p r to be so this is 3.6 centimeters so the second one so there's a solution for the first one now the second one so that one to what can we see the scale factor k is equal to that is the length of image so we have p1 r1 all over the corresponding length of objects which is pr now what is our scale factor one over two now what is p1 r1 the length that's what we want to find all over the pr what is our pr our pr is 3.6 now we want to find p1 r what do we do we cross multiply therefore our p1 r1 is equal to 1 over 2 times 3.6 now what can we see we have this so this can cross and then come and multiply the half over there now 3.6 how can you express 3.6 we can express 3.6 as half times we have 36 all over 10. now 2 will go here 1 2 will go into 36 how many times 18. now what is 18 over 10 this is the same as 1.8 centimeters hence rpr is 1.8 centimeters and this is very very easy now let's consider this example in the diagram in the following diagram rectangle oabc that is oabc is enlarged into rectangle oa1 b1 and c1 from center o oc is five centimeters o is two centimeters and then aa1 is one centimeters now there's a drone to scale the first thing is you find the scale factor of the enlargement and then the second one is if you calculate OC1 length OC1 now let's add the two diagrams that we have so the first one which is OCAB now this is two centimeters this is five centimeters and then we also have a bigger one we have a bigger one we have a bigger one okay, let me clean the line here we have a bigger one we have a bigger one and that is o c1 a1 b1 now the first one says that you find the scale factor now this is five centimeters and then what do you have here o a is two centimeters but then o a1 remember o a1 is OA plus A1. So OA1 is 2 plus 1, which is 3. Now this is 3 centimeters. So we want to find the scale factor. Length of image over the corresponding length of object. Now the image is what? So that is OA1 over the corresponding, over that corresponding side. The corresponding side is what? That is 2 centimeters, which is OA. Now what is OA1? OA1 is 3 centimeters. We have 3 centimeters all over the OA, which is 2 centimeters. This and this will cancel. So what do you have? 3 all over 2. So that is our K. Please, this 3 centimeters is the OA1, which is coming from, that is 2 plus 1, giving us that 3. Now let's see the second part, the II. Since you find OC1, we want to find... O, C1. Now, our scale factor K, 
we know that it's equal to what? It should be equal to what? The length of image, which is the one that we want to find, OC1, all over the corresponding length of the original object, which is what? OC. Now, what is the scale factor? Our scale factor is 3 over 2. That is the key that we found, 3 over 2. It's equal to OC1. What is OC1? We don't know. That is what we want to find, the length OC1. All over OC. What is the OC? OC is 5. Here we can cross multiply. So we have 3 over 2 times 5, which is equal to OC1. Now, we know that every whole number is over 1. Numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. 3 times 5, that is 15. So we have our OC1, which is equal to 15 over 2. And this is 7.5 centimeters. So OC1 is equal to 7.5 centimeters. And all this, we are using the scale factor, length of image over the corresponding length of object. Have you seen the books on the screen? Make sure you get one for yourself. It will give you a very sound foundation in mathematics. You know that no pain, no gain. Now let's consider this example. In the following diagram, G1OH1 is an enlargement of triangle GOH with scale factor K. If G and G1 is 5 centimeters, that is G to G1 is what is 5 centimeters. Now GO is 2 centimeters. So GO, so let's redraw. We are being told GO is 2 centimeters. But then we are being told G, G1 is 5 centimeters. So if from the distance from here to this side is 5 centimeters, but then this is 2 centimeters, then here becomes a 3 centimeters. How did I get the 3? If I'm looking for here, I know from here to this side is 5. So 5 minus 2 will give me O, G1. Now 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Now what again am I giving? I'm also giving that G1, H1 is 1. So G1, H1 is 1 centimeters. Now, the question says that what is the value of K? So I want to find the scale factor by K. Now, in this case, look at it. This is the image and then there's a object. And because the image and then the object are at opposite sides of the origin, hence our scale factor becomes negative. Let me take it again. Because the image and then the object are at opposite sides of the origin, hence the scale factor is negative. So here we have our negative. You know, how do you find scale factor? Length of image over corresponding length of object. So the image is OG1. So that is what length of OG1 all over the corresponding sides of the object which is OG. Now, what is O length of OG1, which is 3? So you have a negative 3, and then OG is 2. So this is our scale factor, which is negative 3 all over 2. Now, in the event that we are being told to find, let's suppose that we want to find the side that is G, each. let's suppose that we have a second question, which is that we should find the side g h. So we know that our k which is equal to what? The length of the object. So we can say that probably h1 g1 all over that is h g. That's what we want to find. Now what is the what is the scale factor? So the scale factor is we have that is um, negative 3 over 2 but then let's consider only the first side which is 3 over 2 now, what is the length H1, G1? We have 1, and then this is giving us H, G. So clearly, our H, G will be equal to, that is 2 over 3, cross multiply. So our H, then the length of the H, G becomes 2 all over 3. We want to now consider relationship between scale factor area and volume of enlarged figures. Now let's suppose that K is a scale factor of an enlarged or reduced solid. Then, we are saying that the first one, RK, 
that the scale factor is equal to length of image all over the corresponding length of object. Now, the second one too that we have to note is that, that the scale factor square, k square, is equal to area of enlarged figure all over area of original figure or solid. Now, let's see the third one. When we cube the scale factor is equal to volume of enlarged figure all over the volume of the original figure. So if k is a scale factor, then our k is the length of image all over the corresponding length of object. Now when it is area, what do you do? We square the scale factor. So we say k squared is equal to area of a large figure all over area of the original figure. Now the third one, you have k to the power 3. k to the power 3 equal to volume of enlarged figure all over the volume of the original figure. Now let's consider examples for better understanding. Now let's consider this example. Area of an original figure is 3 centimeters square and area of its enlargement is 12 centimeters square. The question says you find the scale factor of the enlargement and we know the relationship between scale factor and area. Now we know that k square, so k square is equal to what? Area of enlarged figure all over the area of the original figure. Now, we want to find the scale factor, which is k. So hence, our k square. Now, what is the area of an enlarged figure? Now, the area of the enlarged figure is 12. So that is 12. And then the area of the original figure is 3, all over 3. How many times 3 go into 12? That is 4. So you have k square equal to 4. And you know, this is the same as k square. Now, 4 can be expressed as what, 2 square. And because the exponents are the same, this implies that our scale factor is equal to 2. And this is very, very easy. So we have to know that k square is equal to area of enlarged figure all over the area of the original figure. Now let's consider this example. You see the books on the screen? Make sure you get a copy for yourself. All the books, we have videos package which is attached to get all the books that you are seeing on the screen. We have video package attached to it. We have explained everything in the book on that particular CD. Make sure you get a copy for yourself to give you a sound and then a solid foundation in mathematics. Now let's consider this example. In an enlargement, the area of the object was multiplied by 144 to get the area of the image. Find the scale factor of the enlargement. Now the question is that do we know the area of the object? From the question, we were not given the area of the object. Hence, we can say, we can say that let the area of the object of which we don't know. We can use any variable. I want it to be x. We can say that let the area of the object be x. Now what were we told? The area of the object was multiplied by 144 to get the area of the image. Hence, the area of the image is 144x. Why? We have been told that the area of the object was multiplied by 144. So the area of the object is x. And then the area of the image is 
44 to get the area of the image. So that's the area of the image. The reason is we should find the scale factor of the enlargement. Now, our scale factor k is equal to what? The area of the image. So that is area of image or the enlarged figure all over the area of the original object. Now, so k square, we shouldn't forget it's k square, not k, but in k square. Now, what is the area of the image? So we have 144x. Four, four what is the area of the object, which is x? So we have k squared to be equal to that. What can we see? This x is cancelling out that x. Hence, we have our k squared to be equal to 144. And k squared can be expressed, 144 can be expressed as what? That is 12 square and because the exponents are the same then the basis two must be the same and this implies that our k is equal to 12 hence our scale factor is 12. now let's consider this example a square of side four centimeters is enlarged by a scale factor of three we should calculate the area of the enlarged square now what do we know k square, scale factor square is equal to what? The area of enlarged figure all over the area of the original figure. Now here you have been to the square of side 4 centimeters. It's enlarged. So hence the original figure the side is 4 and this is a square hence the area of the original so area of the original of the original figure and because it is a square we know square l times l hence here uh, the side is 4 centimeters so that's 4 times 4 and this is 16 centimeter square now I want to find the area of the enlarged figure. We know the scale factor. What's the scale factor? 3. So we have k squared. So here we have our k, our scale factor, it was given as 3. Now k squared is equal to an area of enlarged figure or area of enlarged square all over the area of the original figure, which is the square. And this is the same as what? 16. From here we can cross multiply. Now 3 square is 9. We know every whole number is over 1. So we have 9 times 16 equal to y. We can do cross multiplication. Equal to area of enlarged square. Now what is 9 times 16? 9 times 16 is 144. So we have our area of enlarged square to equal to 144 centimeter square, which is very, very trivial. Make sure you get a copy of my book that you are seeing on the screen. It will help you a lot. Now let's consider this example. Triangle QRS is an enlargement of triangle ABC with scale factor 3. If the area of the triangle QRS 72 centimeters square, we should find the area of the triangle ABC. So we have a relationship between the scale factor and then the area of these two figures. Now we know that K square, K square is equal to area of enlarged figure all over area of the original figure. Now, in this case, what is our scale factor? Our scale factor is giving us 3. So we have 3 square equal to now, which one is the enlargement? Triangle QRS is the enlargement. So here we have area of triangle QRS all over area of triangle ABC. That's the original 
figure. Now, so we have 3 squared, which is 9, equal to, now, what is the area of triangle QRS? Area of the triangle QRS is 72, so we have 72 centimeters squared. And what is the area of triangle? So that's what we want to find. Area of triangle A, B, C. What can we do? We can cross multiply. So we have 9 times that is area of triangle A, B, C, which is equal to 72. We, have, we want to find the area of triangle A, B, C. So what do we do? We divide. Hence, area of triangle A, B, C equal to 72 all over 9. Now, how many times will 9 go into 72? Now you go into this of 1, now you go into 72, that is 8 times. So our area of triangle ABC equal to 8 centimeter square. And this is very, very easy. Now we like to consider similarity. Now we say that two shapes, let's say two shapes A and B are said to be similar if they have the same shape but different sizes. Two shapes are said to be similar if they have the same shape but different sizes. So we are saying that a figure and its enlargement are similar. Now let's note, if you have two polygons, we see that two polygons are said to be similar if the first one corresponding angles are equal and then secondly corresponding sides are proportional. So the first one is that corresponding angles are equal then the corresponding sides are proportional. Now let's consider an example. Let's suppose that we have these two shapes here. And then we have the bigger one like this also over here. Now let's suppose this is A, B, C. And this is P, Q, R. Now, so if these two shapes or if these two polygons are similar, clearly you can see that it is of the same shape but different sizes. So we are saying that the angle here should be equal to the angle over there. Now the angle over here, this angle, see is different shape, is the same as the angle over here. The corresponding angles must be equal. And then the angle over here is the same as what the angle over here, the same thing. So we say that these two shapes are similar. So the angle here is the same as the angle here, the angle here is the same as the angle there, and then the angle at C is the same as the angle over here. Now let's suppose that the side here is A, the side here is B, and then the side here is C. Now, let's suppose that the height of triangle ABC is giving us H. Now, let's suppose that the side over here is R, the side over here is Q, and then the side over here is P. Now, let's suppose the height of triangle PQR to be capital H. Now, you want to find the scale factor of the enlargement. So scale factor of the enlargement. So you are saying that K is equal to, now we are saying that the sides are proportional. So we see H all over the H, the big H all over the small H. And this is the same, it's proportional. So this is the same as, you see this side, that is PQ all over AC. So that is Q all over B. That's the scale factor of the enlargement. It's equal to, now the side here, P over A. So you have P all over A. And then also, this is the same as what, the side over here, that is R over C. R all over C and all of them are the same and this is equal to the scale factor. 
So capital H over small h, and this is the same as P over the side here, A, Q over the corresponding side, B, and then R all over C. In terms of area, so you are saying that now area of that is the large figure, which is triangle P, Q, R, all over the area of triangle, that is A, B, C. Now, how do you find area? Area is given us, that is half times the base, half times the base. Now, what is the base? The base of the large figure is Q times the height. What is the height? The height is H, all over half times the base. What is the base here is B. Now, what is the height of triangle ABC that is small h? What can we say? This half and the half will cancel. So what do you have is the same as Q H all over B H. And this is the same as Q over B times H all over small h. Now what is Q over B? Q over B is the same as our K. So this is K times what is h over h? h over small h is also k. So this is, what is k times k? This is k squared. And this is, is telling us when the bases are the same and you are multiplying, you add the exponents. So this is to the power one. This is to the power one. So it becomes k to the power two. So hence, area of the enlarged figure, that's triangle PQR, all over the area of the original figure, which is triangle ABC, is equal to the square of the scale factor in terms of volume so we say that the volume which is equal to that is volume of the enlarged figure all over the volume of the original figure this is equal to that is the Scale factor cube, that is k to the power 3. Now let's consider examples for better understanding. Don't forget to get a copy of my book. It will give you a sound foundation in mathematics. Now let's see this example. We have these two figures, that is A, D, C, B, B, S, Q, R. And then we have been told that these two um, figures are similar. They are similar. The first one is we should find the scale factor of the enlargement. Now, how do you find the scale factor of the enlargement? Now, scale factor of the enlargement, clearly, it becomes, we know that the length of the image over the corresponding length of the object. So clearly, PQ all over AB, that is the scale factor of the enlargement. So the bigger side, that is PQ, the bigger side, that is what PQ all over what AB. So our scale factor becomes PQ all over AB. Now let's be careful of this. Now we can't choose SR. Why? If we choose SR, then the corresponding side becomes what? DC. But we don't know that side as well. So here, what is our PQ? Our PQ is 15. All over the corresponding side, which is what? 9. Now if there's 3 will go here, 5. 3 will go into 9, 3 times. So our scale factor is 5 all over 3. Now, the second one is we should find the value of B. So if we want to find the value of B, clearly we know our scale factor K, this is equal to this side, that is QR over the, the corresponding side, which is BC. So that is B all over the BC. What is the BC? The BC is 18. So... Q are the larger one all over what? The smaller one. Now, so with this, what is, um, what is our K? Our K is 5 over 3 all over B over 18. Let's cross multiply. When we cross multiply, we know this will multiply this and then this will multiply that. So we have our 5, we have 5 times 18 equal to 3b. We want to find b. Hence, our b becomes 5 times 18 all over 3. I'll divide both sides 
by 3. Now 3 will go here 1, 3 will go into 18, that is 6. So our B 5 times 6 is 30. Hence our B is what 30 centimeters. So we have to know how to find the scale factor of the enlargement. So that is the larger one all over the smaller one. But let's consider this example. This is a past question. Now in the diagram, triangle OQR is the enlargement of triangle OPX. So that is OPX. Now OP is 16 centimeters. PS is 20 centimeters. QR is 35. Now we are giving, and then we also been to the SP is power to Q or R Q. Now this is not drawn to scale. The first thing you say is that you calculate the scale factor of the enlargement, and then the second one says the length O Q. Now we have two diagrams over here. Let's try and get them. We have two triangles, the bigger one and then the smaller one. So we have the smaller one, and then we also have the bigger one. Now, what is the first one? That is OSP. So this is OSP. And we have the arrow over here. Now, the second one we have ORQ. And then we are going to the SP is power to RQ. So make sure that you can get these two diagrams from the diagram given to us. Now, what is OP? OP is 16 centimeters, so this is 16 centimeters. Now what is SP? 20 centimeters, so this is 20 centimeters. What is RQ? 35 centimeters. So first one says you find the scale factor of the enlargement. Now the first one, the scale factor of the enlargement. So which is the enlarged figure? So the side RQ all over what? SP. So the scale factor, that is what? RQ, the length of the enlarged one all over the original one, SP. So we can take RQ and OP, no. So RQ over the SP. Now what is the RQ? That is 35. What is SP? 20. Now 5 will go into 35, 7 times 5 will go into 20, that is 4. Hence our scale factor. Hence, our scale factor K is 7 all over 4. That's how we find the scale factor. Now, let's see the second one. We want to find the length OQ. We want to find the length here, OQ. So, with that, our scale factor K should be equal to what? That is OQ, length OQ, all over the original one. And then the corresponding side is what? OP. Now, what is the scale factor? That is 7 over 4. What is OQ? That's what we want to find. The length OQ, that's what we want to find. Now what is our OP, which is 16? Now this can go and then multiply this. Hence, we have our OQ to be equal to 7 over 4. And this is multiplying it times 16. 4 will go here 1. 4 will go into 16. 4 times. What is 7 times 4? And this is 28 centimeters and this is very very easy make sure you practice more examples get my book we have a whole lot of questions and that will make you a good mathematician now let's consider this example in the following figure triangle m prime o n that is m prime o n prime is an enlargement of triangle m o n so m o n with the center o now we are being told to find first the scale factor of the enlargement and then the second one the length OM. Now let's consider these two diagrams. Let's draw them separately. So we have the smaller one and then we have a bigger one. Now this is O, this is also O. Now the first one OMN, so O, M, N. And this is 12 centimeters. Now let's have the corresponding side over here. That is the M prime. And then the N prime also. Over here. Now what is O M prime? O M prime is 9 
centimeters. What is O N prime? O N prime is six centimeters. Now, what is O N? We are being told O N is three centimeters. Now, the first one says you find the scale factor. So the first one, our scale factor K. We know that so the length of the enlarged figure over the original figure. So this becomes of six all over three. So we have six all over three, and this is two. So we have our scale factor to be equal to two. Now let's see the second one. We want to find O M. We want to find O M. So we want to find the side over here. So this side, and then you also have the corresponding side. So it's going to be the enlarged one, that is O M1 all over the original one, O M. So our K is equal to we have that is O M1 prime all over that is O M. And the O M this is the side which we are looking for the O M. Now what is the scale factor? K. This is two. Now what is O M prime? This is nine all over O M. The length O M. That's the side that we are looking for. We know this one, so we can cross multiply. So we have two times the O M, the length O M equal to nine. We want to find O M. So O M is equal to nine all over two. And nine over two, this is equal to four point five. So this the length O M and that is four point five centimeters this is very very trivia make sure you practice more questions on your own and that would make you a good mathematician now let's consider this example we have triangle x y z so here we have two triangles we have y p q and then y x z now let's consider these two triangles so we have a smaller one and then we have a bigger one and clearly these are similar shapes the same shape but different sizes now this is parallel to that now why the top there is y y now what is the smaller one we have pq here and then here we have x z now what is yp yp is three centimeters yq eight minus x now we don't know pq now what is yx you see yx is the same as yp plus px so that is two plus three and this is five and then yz that is eight minus x plus x this x will cancel out that x we have eight and then what do you know do you know xz xz is six centimeters so the first one says you find x so i we want to find x we want to find x now we know that the ratio of the sides are proportional now that is the sides are proportional so we have yz all over if we take yz then we have to take yq the corresponding side is yq so that is 8 all over 8 minus x equal to so the first one i took this all over this i can also take this over what three so that is five all over three from here i can do cross multiplication so we have eight times three equal to we have five eight minus x and over here eight times three that is 24 five times eight we have 40 now five times x that is five x from here we group like terms so let this cross the equal sign and then the 24 go to the other side. Now negative five is coming, that will be positive five x equal to 40 minus 24. Five x, so we have five x. Now 40 minus 24, this is equal to, that is uh, 40 minus 24, and this is equal to 26. This is equal to 26, is it 26? 41 is 24. Cut 20, 20, 16. 16. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. No, 40 minus 24, and this is equal to 16. 
Now, we want to find x. So we divide both sides by what is multiplying the x, which is 5. So 5x all over 5 equal to 16 all over 5. So our x is equal to 16 all over 5. Or we can express this as, that is 5 will go into 16, that is 3 times. 5 times 3, 15, so 3 over number 1 all over 5. Now, what is the other part? The second part is we should find PQ. We want to find PQ. We want to find PQ. Now, first to find PQ, we know that the sides are proportional. So we can see that exit all over the corresponding side, that is PQ. This is equal to, you can choose X, Y, or Y, Z, all over Y, P. So we have Y, X, all over Y, P, the corresponding side. Now what is X, Z? What is X, Z? X, Z is 6. P, Q, that is what we are looking for, equal to Y, X. Y, X is 5. And our Y, P is 3. So right here we can do cross multiplication. Now when we do cross multiplication, 3 times 6 to give us 18 equal to 5, we have P, Q. Hence our P, Q is equal to 18 over 5. 18, that is 18 all over 5. Now how many times do 5 go into 18? 5 will go into 18, that is three times all over three over five five will go five times three is 15 plus three 18 so this is what we have for our pq now let's see the second question so we have pqr and here we have two figures over here two triangles now let's consider them the smaller one and also a bigger one. Now the smaller one we have P here. Now the length here is T and this is 7 centimeters. Now let's suppose that this is A and then this is B and we bring our arrow over here. Now here the arrow is also over here. We have our Q R and then the top is P. Now what is P Q? What is P Q? The length P Q is t plus 4 or 4 plus t. Now, what is the length pr? 7 plus 5, which is 12. Now, what we know, we know that since these are similar shapes, their corresponding sides are proportional. So, that is pr, pr, so our pr all over PB is equal to PQ all over PA. Now, what is PR? What is PR? PR is 12. What is PB? What is PB? Our PB is 7. It's equal to PQ. PQ. What is the PQ? What is the PQ? Our PQ is 4 plus T. All over, that is PA. What is PA? PA is T. And with this we can find the value of T. What do we do? We cross multiply. So when we cross multiply, the T will come and multiply 12. And then 7 will go and multiply the numerator over there. So from here, we have 12T equal to 7 for plus t. Don't forget 7 is multiplying everything. So we have 12 t equals 7 times 4. This is 28 plus 7 t. We want to find that is t. So you group like them. So we have 12 t minus 7 t equal to 28. Why minus? This is positive crossing becoming negative. Now 12 t minus 7 t, this is 5 t. 28. We want to find our t. So clearly our t is 28 all over 5. And how many times will 5 go into 28? That is 5 times. 
So you have 5 over number 3 all over 5. 5, 5, 25, 25 plus 3. So that is 28 all over 5. Now let's consider this example. We have triangle. It says in the diagram the area of triangle PQT, PQT is equal to 40 centimeters square. We have been given PQ to be 2 centimeters, QR to be 3 centimeters. And then we are going to TQ, TQ is parallel to SR. We should calculate the area of triangle PSR. And here, these two, we have two diagrams here. That is triangle PTQ and then triangle PSR. And these two triangles are similar. So let's draw them. We have two triangles. We have the smaller one. And then we also have the bigger one. Now, we have triangle PQT, so P, Q, T. Now, what is PQ? PQ is 2 centimeters. Now, TQ is power. Now, what is the other one? P, R, S. But then we have been, so P, R, S, so P, R, S. Now, what is the length? PR. The length PR is PQ plus QR. So 2 plus 3, which is 5. You shouldn't forget this is P. Now we are being told that TQ is parallel to SR. So these two shapes are similar. Now we are given that is area, area of triangle PQT to be equal to 40 centimeter square. What do you want to find? You want to find area of triangle PSR. That's what we want to find. Now, we know that K square is equal to what? Area of the enlarged figure. That is PSR. So that is area of P of triangle. Triangle PSR all over the area of the smaller one, area of triangle P, Q, T. Now, what is the scale factor? How can we find the scale factor? So the scale factor becomes of 5 over 2. So our K is 5 over 2. So we have 5 over 2 all squared. The square of the scale factor is equal to an area of triangle P, S, R. Now, area of triangle P, S, R, we, we don't know. That's what we want to find. So area of triangle PSR all over the area of triangle PQT, we know to be 40. Now, 5 over 2 all square. If you have A over B all to the power N, this is A to the power N, B to the power N. Hence, 5 over 2 all square becomes 5 square over 2 square. And 5 square is 25. 25. And then 2 square is 4 times 40. What do you do? You cross, this one can cross here to go and multiply it, equal to area of triangle PSR. Now, 4 will go into itself 1, 4 will go into 40 10 times. Now, what is 25 times 10? 25 times 10 is 250. So, we have 250 equal to area of triangle PSR. We shouldn't forget we have to include the units. So area of triangle PSR, this is equal to 250 units centimeter square. And this area of triangle PSR. This is very easy. Make sure you get a copy of my book, the books that you are seeing on the screen. Get one and you wouldn't regret it. It is having a whole lot of questions to help you prepare very well for your main exams. Now let's consider this example. The diagrams show two mathematically similar containers. That is this and that. The larger container has a base with diameter 9 centimeters and height 20 centimeters. So the base of the large one 9 centimeters, the height is 20 centimeters. The smaller container has a base with diameter that is these centimeters and height 10 centimeters. The first one says we should find the value of D. Now these two containers 
are similar and because they are similar now the first one says you should find the d hence we know that the scale factor are the same throughout now so the first one are d so that is the diameter of the larger container over the diameter of the smaller container so that is 9 all over d this is equal to that is the height of the larger container all over the height of the smaller container which is 20 all over 10 20 over 10 now 10 will go here 1 10 will go here that is 2 times so we have 9 over d is equal to 2 so for us to find d we cross multiply this is the one we cross multiply so 9 is equal to 2 d we want to find this we divide both sides by 2 9 over 2 we have 2 d all over 2 this is cancelling out that hence our d what is 9 over 2 which is 4.5 centimeters now let's see the second one we have been told the larger container has a capacity of 1600 milliliter now the equation is you calculate the capacity of the smaller container and hence we know that we want to find the capacity which is the same as the volume so k cube is equal to what? the volume of the larger container or the capacity capacity of the larger container all over the capacity of the smaller container now what is the scale factor so the scale factor now the larger height is what 20 and then the smaller height is what 10 so that is 20 all over 10 and all to the power 3 this is equal to the capacity of the larger container the capacity of the larger container is 1600 milliliter so we have 1600 all over the capacity of the let's suppose that the capacity of the smaller container let's suppose it is x let's suppose it is x now 20 over 10 to the power 3 20 over 10 bracket first so 20 over 10 this is giving us that is so you have 2 to the power 3 you got 1600 all over x now let's see this will give us 8 equal to 1600 all over x we know 8 is over 1 we can cross multiply so when we cross multiply we get 8x equal to 1600 now i want to find x we divide both sides by 8 so we have 8x all over 8 equal to 1600 all over 8 so 8 will cancel 8 now 1600 divided by 8 8 will go here 1 but then 8 will go into 16 2 so we have our 0 0 hence our x is equal to 200 now the question says that we should find the capacity of the smaller container hence the capacity of the smaller container is 200 milliliter that is the capacity of the smaller container this brings us to the end of enlargement and similarities i believe that you've seen that it is very easy but don't forget no pain no gain and then the height reached by great men were not attained by sudden flight but they while their companions slept they were toiling upwards in the night do you want to do well in mathematics get questions and solve them solve questions compare answers see your instructors if the ones that you don't understand make sure you get a copy of my book it will give you a firm foundation in mathematics